Good morning, you two. Going to get a break. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my golly. Even the bunny face got. Oh, there's some cute in there. Good job. Set the book set for break. Yeah. Okay. That's right, buddy. Story one is the lobby, you two. <laughs> Mama's eating. Story one is the lobby. Mama's eating. Hey, 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 you two. You two. Guess what? I'm lightning queen. That's just calling the whole world. <laughs> wow. This feels good. Feels right. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm really glad we put back in place. I think that was just a. Yeah. Good evening, YouTube. Okay, we're back at the house. It's Sunday. It's beautiful. Sun is setting. Going to give you a quick recap of the race in Fort Collins, the Blue Sky Marathon. If you've been following the vlog or following me on Strava, you know I've been training pretty darn hard for this race. And I tell you what, I am, I'm pleased. I'm actually very pleased. Um, 22 miles was perfect. 26, not so much. So I went out pretty hard. Uh, the first six miles of the race is mostly uphill, mostly uphill. And so I love, I am discovering that I am a strong uphill runner, which is why I did so well in the Pikes Peak race, you know, a couple months ago. And I love running uphill. So I got a little excited, probably went out a little too fast uh, the first six miles of the race. And uh, I was leading by quite a bit at mile 10 when I passed True Love and the boys uh, after that first loop. Um, so I probably should have held back a little bit. But I just, you know, I felt good. I felt good. I was going for the win. I was going for the win. Oh, also, on the starting line, I looked over and I noticed a professional ultra runner. His name is Chris Mako. He runs for Nike. That's what he does. He's a professional runner. So, um... I, I looked, and he, he doesn't even know this, but, uh, oh, the sun is going down. Let me brighten the, so I'm back. All right, so this guy, the professional runner, I saw him on the starting line, and listen, I, I was going for the W. I wanted to win, and um, I wanted to put a little distance between myself and anybody else um, so that I could try and get the W. So that's what I did, and I was in first place for 22 miles, and then, sure enough, um, my, my leg did flare up. Uh, a brown mile 22. It was not good. My calf ceased up a little bit and I went from probably like 650 miles on average, 640 miles for an average to about <laughs> probably 840 miles. So no matter how big your lead is, there is a, a potential that somebody's going to catch you if you slow your pace by two minutes per mile that last four miles. So that's what happened. Um, I also hit the wall a little bit. You know, I was getting tired. It was probably, as the old adage goes, a bridge too far. Um, I don't have time to go out and run 100 miles a week for training, which is what professional runners do. In fact, many of them run 120 miles a week, which I know you might say sounds crazy, uh, but that's what they do. I was running at the most 60 to 70 miles a week. For the mileage I had, I felt good about the effort. In fact, I felt very good. And I went for the W. Hey, leading for 22, that's like 80% of the race. And it came back to bite me the last four miles. But I overall very happy with the effort. So thank you for following. Thank you for cheering me on through YouTube. And we'll see what I do next. Um... All right, I just realized and I've never done this before, I'm filming with the computer just to keep it snappy, snappy. Basically, I finished, so I was in first place for 22 miles, and then I faded, I believe, I, to sixth, sixth, sixth place. Um, so the last four miles, five people passed me, which is not fun. Not fun at all. But, hey, I, I, I'm pretty... I'm excited about how I put it out on, on, put it all on the line, didn't hold back, and was going for the W. I was going for the W, and it didn't work out this time, but um, hey, 
got to take risks in this world. At least that's how I live, including on the race course. And you live and learn sometimes, and you know you come back to fight another day. So uh, my final time, my finishing time was three hours and twenty six minutes. Um, so not quite. I was hoping closer to three hours. Probably like the three oh five range would have been amazing. Three oh five to three ten would have been amazing. That def that would have won it. But um, and I was on pace for that until mile twenty two. So anyway, that's how I finished. Love you all. Thank you.